Elon, mate, it's about time you sent this gangster car down under. Open butthole. So the orders finally opened and within just two days, Elon sold over 12,000 Model Ys just in Australia. That's about $969 million in revenue just over the weekend. The Model Y is so sought after that it's actually on track to becoming the world's best selling car by the end of 2023. And this is outpacing the Toyota Corolla. Quick flash news, the Tesla Model Y has just been rated as the safest car to have ever been tested. And here's the winning formula for the Model Y. It's an SUV, it's electric, it's got karaoke, and it can make fart sounds every time you put the turn signal on. No other car has that. That's the trick. If you have a toddler, they will nap a lot in the car and you most likely need to turn on either the aircon or the heater. And in a conventional car, you need to burn fuel, stink up the parking lot to keep the aircon on, killing all the people around you. Whereas now, when the kids sleep, I can keep everything on and just chill without any pollution. Just think about that for a second. I'm gonna get out and it should just park by itself. That is so cool. Or is it going to hit it? It won't hit it, right? <laughs> that, dude, that is so cool. Delivery day is an exciting day. And the higher the petrol prices, the more exciting delivery day gets. The Tesla rep walks you to your car and I got our eight month old to do the inspection. Why? This is the best part. Open this. Look how big that storage is. Yeah. So, Are you going to behave? After spending five minutes realizing you don't need to turn it on, you just drive away and start saving the earth. Bye bye, old car. The second best car after this. Yes. <laughs> We're actually upgrading from a Honda CRV. I just wanted to do a quick test in terms of just the seats because I think the back seat of the Honda is just massive and wanted to know how the Model Y compares. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use myself as the reference subject and just squeeze in the middle. Um, I can't. <laughs> My ass cannot fit between these two. Ugh. Oh, my ass can actually, like, fit. When my wife takes the car out, I can not only see where the car is exactly, but I can actually see how fast she's going. And it, l it updates live each second. Um, as soon as she stops, it says she stopped. As soon as she's parked, it says she's parked. It even tells me when she's reversing. Like, come on. Tesla somehow made going from a place to place enjoyable somehow, you know? We're going on our first road trip in a couple days and uh, it's gonna be a good test uh, for two things. One, range, how is it with long distance travel? And also, what is it like to you know travel with a full family, full car, pram, 5,000 nappies, a mattress, a baby cot? I'm really excited um, for this trip. We had to leave 20 minutes ago. And these kids just all chuck the crap at the same time. <laughs> Shh. 
shove it in. It's gonna charge in 15 minutes. That's really quick. Daddy! What's going on? <laughs> Look at this sick ass place. Look at this floor. And we've taken over his house. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest oh, video. This is the ideal. Have a house, garage, charge. Ideal. Steven, I think you need to get this. You need to get this. Here are some real world issues with owning a Tesla, especially if you live in an apartment and you don't have a home charger installed. You need to go through Strata, and I've been emailing them for a month now, and they're still deciding on how to do it. No home charger means I need to rely on public chargers. And there seems to be public chargers everywhere lately, but still it's, it's annoying. It's like buying a phone that lasts about a week and every time you want to charge your phone, you go to the shopping center to, to charge it. That's just, that's just stupid. See that up there, right there? That's actually our apartment. I've never wanted to move to a house so badly, not because we've got two kids, but because we have an EV and I want to install the charger, you know? Uh. And because I'm a natural tech head, I am going to overlook a lot of these things that the Tesla has that might be annoying. You know, I like new things. I like trying out different things. So I thought it might be a good idea to actually ask my wife, who isn't as much of a tech head as I am. As a non-Tesla user, we've had the Tesla for over a month. Mm. What's your review on it? Mommy, I'm doing good. 햇빛 가리기를 붙일 수가 없어. 천장에 너무 뚫려 있다는 거? So far everything's related to the sun. 어. <웃음> 그러니까 전에 그 CRB 같은 경우는 그게 선글라스 음. 그 내리면은 뒤를 보는 거울이 됐었는데 이거는 뭐 설치할 수도 없고. Right. What are some of the highlight stuff that you're like wow this is cool or good? 일단 참 굉장히 예쁘고 그다음에 인테리어가 정말 예쁘고 운전하기가 되게 쉬운 것 같아. 생각보다 난 되게 쉬웠어. 그차막 연기 막 이런 냄새가 안 나서 너무 좋고 스페이스가 굉장히 넓다는 거. 앞에도 그 프랑크를 아주 잘쓸수 있고 뒤에도 스페이스가 너무 많아가지고 애기 짐이 막 엄청 많이 실을 수 있고 비디오가 달려 있어서 우리 차에 누군가 뭘 했는지를 다볼수 있는 게 너무 좋았고. 어 제일 대박인 거 온도 설정해 놓을 수 있는 거. 어. 진짜 와 애들이 만약에 잠이 든다 그러면은. 소리는 조용한데 온도는 딱 맞아. 그러니까 애들 되게 잘 자고. 음. 그게 정말 좋은 것 같아. 예를 들어 기본 40분인 곳을 운전을 하고 가면은 어, 테슬라 타기 전에는 너무 불안한 거야. 왜냐면은 도는 것도 사실 한두 번 봐니까 내가 계속 옆에서 이렇게 지켜봐야 되니까 그게 되게 피곤했는데 이번에는 장거리 때는 그 오토파일 어 오토파일로 딱 키니까 그러니까 내가 잠이 들어도 뭔가 문제가 있으면 내가 삐삐삐 하, 하면은 그냥 딱 확인하고 그냥 다시 잘수 있으니까 그게 되게 좋았어. 음. 뭔가 내 남편보다 좀더 믿을 수 있었던. <웃음> Since so many of you Aussies bought this car, here are some quick tips for you noobs. You want to navigate home? Swipe down. What's up? Oh, you want to access the climate control from anywhere? Just swipe up from anywhere on the screen. It'll come up. Your mate's like, hey, let's hang out at Baby Bunting and sends you a link. You just click on the link, hit share, click on Tesla. Then as soon as you get into the car, it navigates. App widget shortcuts. If you open it up, you can press and hold, and then just change it to whatever you want. And then once you hit save, it should update. Want to turn off climate control? Turn off life support. Hook up the phone calendar to your Tesla. And then as soon as you get in the car, it automatically navigates to that location. Now that, that is sick. This parking lot is too tight where I'm charging. So the baby's crawling through the middle bit to come out of the boot. How good is that? How good is that? At the end of the day, a car is a car. On average, we drive about 650 kilometers a week. And that's a lot of time spent in a car. And to now actually enjoy every minute of that travel is just so good. So here's a quick tip 
example when you're packing the car you need a little you need to leave a little space here like this so that you can put the baby's head in when you're doing an aperture. <laughs> you know, there's just little life tips here and there. 